In today's tutorial, I'm going to be talking about storing your cake layers in the freezer and how long they last. And I'm also going to talk about how to store a fully decorated cake and how long those last as well in the fridge and the freezer. Coming right up. Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes and in today's video, I would like to talk about how you should store your fully baked cake layers as well as your fully decorated cakes. Now, the funny thing about cakes that a lot of people do not realize is that um, they can be made well ahead of time and they can also last in your refrigerator and especially your freezer for a long, long time. They are unlike any other baked goods in this manner. So like donuts basically last for one day, right? That's why you have the day old donuts at the supermarket. They wanna get rid of them because the next day they're not fresh. Cookies last three, four days on your countertop. Cakes can last up to a month in your freezer. And I'm gonna show you how and I'm gonna explain why. So first let's talk about cake layers. Any bakery or any cake maker that you know will never make cake layers the same day that they decorate. I, I just don't think anybody does that. First of all, making and cooling the cake layers takes a good three hours. I always make mine ahead of time. And so what you're going to want to do is after they are baked and fully cooled, you are going to want to have some plastic wrap and a serrated knife or a cake leveler. And this is how I store my cake layers. Now, if they're wrapped really well, they will last up to a month in the freezer, possibly longer, but I have never gone past a month. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my serrated knife and I'm just going to level off this domed part. And let me get my bowl because don't ever throw these away. First of all, they're delicious to mix with a little bit of buttercream. Second of all, I actually save these for cake pops or for shaped parts of a, of a carved cake, like animals, arms, or ears, stuff like that. And then I'm gonna get some plastic wrap and I'm just gonna wrap this nice and tight. And this will go right into my freezer. I'm just gonna repeat the process with these other two layers. This is my vanilla cake recipe, by the way. And it is so good. Okay, so after I'm done wrapping these really well, they will just go in my freezer. And when I'm ready to decorate, I will pull them out and I decorate my cakes completely frozen. It's just so much easier. Um, some bakers just like them chilled and they will put them in the fridge if they're going to decorate later that day or the next day. Um, they will last in your fridge for a good four to five days. So now I wanna talk about a fully decorated cake. Once you've got that buttercream on the outside, it's a good quarter, maybe even a half inch thick. That is going to completely seal in the freshness of the cake. I have tried this and it is absolutely true. And I even, I used to wrap my cakes in plastic wrap and then freeze them. You don't even need to do that. You have all that butter and all that sugar and it just is a perfect seal for the cake layers and it will keep them perfectly fresh. So once they're fully decorated, I will either just stick them right in my freezer. Um, if you do want to wrap them, just to make sure maybe the very outer part of the buttercream stays completely fresh, you would freeze it for a good two hours until it's completely solid. Then you would wrap the cake and then you would stick it back in the freezer. Now I have done this, personally tried it myself because I wanted to make sure that what I was saying was true. I had a cake out in my freezer, not wrapped for, it was, it was, it was four weeks and I pulled it out, I was gonna do a cake slicing video, and I gave it a taste, and it was absolutely as fresh as the day I made it. It was not even remotely dry. So once you have them decorated, you can put them in your fridge for three or four days or in your freezer for up to a month. Same thing goes with cupcakes. When I'm freezing cupcakes, I'm just gonna get out my tin. I don't have any cupcakes to show you today, but when I freeze cupcakes, they will dry out faster because there's a lot more surface area and a lot less cake inside, plus the buttercream is 
generally only on top. So to freeze cupcakes, I will keep them in the muffin tin and then I will wrap, I'll cut two of these and I will place the muffin tin here and I will cover the cupcakes nice and tight and those will last in the freezer for up to a month. Also with sheet cakes, keep it in the pan, wrap it nice and tight, stick it in your freezer for up to a month and when you're ready to decorate, you just pull it out and go. So hopefully that answered a lot of your questions. I get that question a lot. Hopefully that was informative and helpful. And so you can plan ahead for an event or for a party, make all your cake layers and freeze them. You can even decorate well ahead of the time and know that it will stay fresh until the event. Now to defrost, I just wanna talk about this really quick. Um, when you are ready to, to eat and serve the cake, you want to move it from the freezer to the fridge first. If it comes from the freezer to room temperature and it warms up too quickly, you're going to get the sweating or the condensation. You need to warm it up gradually. So I always tell um, people that I give frozen cakes to, keep it in your freezer until the night before the event. Move it to your fridge and let it sit overnight and then keep it chilled. Cakes are meant to be chilled. Keep it chilled until just 20 minutes before actually setting it out on display or eating it. And it will quickly come to room temperature and be ready to go. And then it won't bulge and, and kind of, if it sits at room temperature too much, the, the buttercream will crinkle and it will start to bulge. They need to stay cool. So there's all those tips about freezing and defrosting your cakes. Hopefully it was informative. And if you would like to see more tutorials like this one, just make sure you subscribe to my channel.